Which I'm right. Because we innovated from, like you said, from Tupac, Naughty by Nature, Nekamozi. That all fed into the reference to, to, the sound. to the sound. So why did the sound elevate to a point and stop? Why did that reference? Because Reggie's story, he talks about his New York uh, experiences and how he translated that. Your own experiences, everybody had their source material and on the buy mm -hmm. to become what hip life became. Why did that stop? A lot of reasons. One, the first one is that at a point we became complacent. That's the first one. Afa. Afa. And the sound had already been established fusion of rap music, hip hop, and high life. And the people loved it. So let us no if, more it, work. if the wheel is not break, broken, let's don't, not don't fix, fix it. it. That's one. The second reason why Hip Life sort of did was because at a point it became boring. Hmm. It became boring. So when we they created the Accra sound by Zap, and then Morris created the Kumasi Hip Life sound, and then Hammer created the Accra Hip Hop sound. Hmm for much younger people. Mm. And then JQ created the Gah High Life Sound, which was the Jama. Mm. Mm. Exactly. And then Apiatus created a certain fusion, fusion. of yeah. that and some Calypso vibes. You know, all coming from what Zap Mallet had done. Everybody, if they will be honest. So at, at that point, we realized that, okay, this is what we've been able to create. Then all the five different hip life sonic experiences started competing with each other so because there was no dialogue. And so, <laughs> and so even my own brother Stone had a, a, a song, even when Azonto was coming off as a, mm. a foreshadow mm. to <laughs> Afro pop mm -hmm. and as a, as a consequence of hip life. Yeah. People started saying, Shemiya was on to Shemiya, but they were hip hop. They were hip hop, as on to four, Jama, Hammer Sound, one, Jama. All of us, we came together to pull it down. Press it. The true, yeah. unnecessary but competition. That, that, that unnecessary competition has uh, existed between every step of evolution of the Ghanaian sound. Why? Because, like you are saying, it killed, that competition killed hip, li uh, hip life. Yes. Because People had a problem with Shesuya Wazuntu. And that same, when Azunto finally took the center for that one week, we also killed it. We killed it we and killed we replaced it, it with <coughs> an illegal name. We, we now call the dance and the sound Al Qaeda so that internationally yeah. people will reject, we reject it. it. So, how did we, we do need, that? Exactly. Mm. So, we need to. I just remember that we had Al Qaeda. Yes. Yes. Oh, Which was the same I'm sound <coughs> as, the same sound as Azunto, the same dance moves. But because who, who, who about that? We need, we need to find the person. Because it was the sound. There was a phrase in the no, song where they yeah, no. that they started dancing. You see, there was oh. even a difference in the type of Azunto. Teshi, Labadi, Osu. The coastal areas owned Azunto. But when Azunto was popping, even those areas had their own way. Some of the dances were this one, it'd be Teshi that they dance this kind of Azuntu from. It'd be also sideways that they dance this kind of Azuntu. So, from that difference is where the breakage came that Al Qaeda. Really there were different, it was, it was even more than Al Qaeda. There was Azuntu, yeah. there was Al Qaeda, there was some other one. Oh, there so, was let, let, me, let me finish the boy. Point. Boy, exactly. came inside, all, the, let, let all me, sorts let, of. Everybody, everybody wanted to own it. Labadi people say, yeah, they're boy. So, the same Azuntu track, they had a different way of interpreting and dancing with it in Labadi nice. than Osu. Rather than the collaborative effort to elevate it. It is just a gift and a case. But I think that to add to the to the creative or the, the, the creative and sonic reasons why hip life came down, one key thing is also business. We didn't do very good business with our stardom. We didn't do very good business with the music we had created. First place is when you go on iTunes. And you try, that's one of the key reasons why my Made in Ghana <clears> album was a high life album. When you go on iTunes and you are looking for a knob to buy hip life music, you can't find. Wow. So if you put your music online, anywhere, As hip life. it must go into Afro the category of either no. Afrobeat, alternative music, or experimental music. And that's a miss. Mm. So if someone, the Ghana boy in UK who just bought a phone that wants to listen to hip life, they cannot find it, must now go on Google to do a research to find where my music is. He's not going through all those things. So we didn't do good music with the marketing. We also didn't do good music with the branding because all of us had become popular. Because mm. if you realize, you see that almost every hip life artist that made money 
from Randy MC to Jay Z to Nas, how to do a certain brand association and create a physical product or a service. Mm. We couldn't do it. So at that point, SAC was one of the earliest ones to try to create the SAC brand. The SAC mm. brand and try right. to translate it into a physical product. But the pricing policy beat him. Mm -hmm. Because he wasn't making enough numbers for the um, economies of scale. Because yeah. if you are buying a thousand singlets, mm -hmm. you can, you can get. But if you are buying 200 because you are starting, <coughs> because yeah. there's not it's enough capital, business. it's difficult business. So, because for young people, I'm watching my son. I'm trying to, re I'm trying to introduce my son to high life music. But he's mm -hmm. not interested. He's interested in hip hop. Why? Because for young people, they only follow tradition if it inspires them. Mm. But it, if it has failed the people who are propagators of that particular... There's no inspiration. Agenda, there's no inspiration. So I think this and many other reasons, attitude, uh, pricing policy, stage, shows, timing, um, a <coughs> lot of reasons why. Because all of us were young. I was 21 when I sold my first 100,000 CDs. I was 21. I was interested in using the money to buy a sports car <laughs> and open the rooftop and have three girlfriends in every city I go and perform. <laughs> that makes, that makes 10. <laughs> uh, how, many, how many regions were in Ghana? Uh, 10, uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> you know, so that was what most of us were interested in. Another key thing was also we didn't have people who had the proper understanding of administration, marketing, branding, and business. strategy to help us do the business. Because if someone has gone to do an MBA, he's going to MTN to find a job. Mm. He's not coming to follow an artist mm. who eventually become ungrateful. Mm. <laughs> Legal, contracts, people, you know, so it is a, it is a, uh, uh, it's a whole system. <laughs> it's a whole system, a, it's a whole system failure mm. that we need to bring it back to the national level. We need to relook at it from the unionism level, and we need to look at it from the Ghanaian level. Why do we take something that we have created and throw it away, and then cry when someone has come to make, take it to politics? Hmm. How do we? Um, I mean, you've partly answered it though, but okay. <laughs>